Let's talk about something I've been wanting to discuss for a while, education. And looking back on the Newtown tragedy, it's worth wondering if that evil SOB, and I'm not even gonna give him the gratitude of using his name, if that kid had the proper exposure to the positive influences and training instead of being sheltered from reality by video games, the outcome might have been different. So let's talk about education. Let's talk about preventing these tragedies before they even start. Most kids go home, play violent video games, and watch violent movies. I don't have a problem with that, but at the same time, they've got to understand that in reality, violence has consequences. It's up to the parents and educators to bridge that gap. The solution is not to hide kids from firearms. It's not to shield them from reality. I know for a fact that I'm teaching my kid how to shoot at an early age, and I'm gonna be there with him every step of the way. He's gonna learn the basics of firearm safety and that they're just tools. You've gotta to treat them with care and you have to treat them with respect, but they're tools for the good. That's what we've gotta teach the younger generations, because if we can do that, we will win. We all wanna create a safer environment for this country. We're not gonna achieve that in the long term, by taking rights away from people. And we're not gonna win with ignorance. There's a reason that we teach sex ed in this country. When we first started teaching that, people were all up in arms about it, saying we shouldn't be teaching kids about sex. But guess what? Sex happens. It's a reality. So we decided to teach kids how to be safe. Now we teach them about STDs, pregnancies, and how poor choices can have impacts far beyond what you think about when you're just a kid. Why are we afraid of applying that same concept to firearms? What good comes from keeping kids in the dark? So it's okay that the average fifth grader goes home and kills thousands of people on Call of Duty with every weapon on the market, but he doesn't know anything about the consequences of that violence in reality? You think that twisted kid in Newtown didn't go home and play Call of Duty and think that this would be a good idea in reality? If it's okay to talk to kids about sex, drugs, and alcohol in school, why the hell aren't we talking to them about firearms? It's because we want an easy answer. And somewhere in the process of coming up with new gun laws after the Newtown tragedy, no one really said, wait, we're going at this the wrong way. No one asked, why don't we teach kids about gun safety? We deserve leaders who try to fix problems instead of choosing which guns to take away from us. Here's an idea. Instead of getting rid of guns and our rights, let's get rid of those leaders. Education and knowledge makes us stronger. Gun bans, ignorance, and nonsense laws make us weaker. We all want to solve this problem. So let's admit that there isn't an easy answer and get to work fixing it.